Um, you train alongside Gabriel Martinelli every day. Obviously, made a big name for himself in the, in the last game against Standard Liège. Just what are his biggest qualities, and how much of a nightmare is he to defend against in training? Uh, Martinelli, I think he's come in and settled really well uh, in training every day. He works hard. He's uh, puts you under pressure constantly. Like he never stops running, which is as a centre half, he's a nightmare. You want to strike it, or sort of give up on you, but he never gives up on you. And uh, his finishing has been unbelievable, even with his head. For, well, he's only a small guy, but some of the heavy goals he scored in the last two the Forest game and the um, standard Liège game, just incredible goals, to be fair to him. And who's sort of taken him under under their wing so far? I think um, he's really close with Emiliano uh, Martinez. He's uh, spread lots. I think he translates for him as he's picking up English. And in yoga, he's trying to learn as much English as he can when, we're, when we're, there's only a small group of like five or, five or six of us. And he's, uh, he's learning English as he goes along. And, yeah, he's, he's making an effort, which is important. So ask you about like yoga. How many of you, how many of you are doing yoga? There is, oh, I'd say about six players. Freddie Lundberg joins in and does a bit of yoga. And it's a good, good group there. And just if you start if you want to, want to do it, you can do it. And uh, we come in and eat here one, one session a week. And I, I, I enjoy it, so I do it. How long have you been doing that for? Since I've been here, so coming up to the fourth year now. Do you feel it's a big benefit for you? I did, yeah. I always, when I grew up, um, Mum actually got me a uh, Ryan Giggs DVD for his yoga for his career and how it <laughs> lengthened his career. So I was like, you know what, if he's doing it, then I should be doing it. So I've, I've just maintained it. Okay. okay. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Andrea Castro Ribeiro from uh, National Broadcasting in Portugal, RTP. Um, I ask you what you expect from the game for tomorrow. Uh, <coughs> what you expect from the, your opponent, the Portuguese team, Vitória Sport Club? Uh, yeah, we'll uh, watch video on them today, I'm sure, and I'll find out more about them. I'm sure they'll be a technically strong team. The uh, European teams always are, and uh, they'll come to play football, I'm sure they will, so it'll be a, it'll be a good game, and I'm looking forward to it. Rob, what's the mid like in the camp after Monday? Uh, yeah, we've got a chance to turn it around tomorrow. That's the good thing about games coming thick and fast now. We can sort of put that one to bed, learn from it, and then get into the next game as soon as possible and get a result and get a, get a bit of momentum going again. Is there a feeling already discerning the season that this could be the best way for you to get back into the Champions League? What, Europa? Or, uh, no, I think top four is more within our, uh, more within our capability. And um, I want to win the Europa League, first and foremost, because we got to the final last year and obviously I was injured and didn't get to play in it. So I'd like to book that right this year as well. And I think top four and a Europa League trophy would be, would be a brilliant way for the season to end. Well, Bennett was very strong on Monday night saying it wasn't a mentality issue, it was mm -hmm. that kind of game, and obviously people have said for years that's the kind of game Arsenal struggled in. I wondered as a group of players, what did you sort of put that kind of result down to? Uh, I'm not sure what the result could go down to in the end, but we were people that say, oh, Arsenal weren't up for the fight, they're never up for a fight, but we knew exactly what it'd be. I know personally from being in a championship with Bolton what, them, what teams like Sheffield United are like, no disrespect to them. And uh, I knew it would be a physical battle and one that we'd have to stand up to. And it's just a set-piece goal that, that got us out in the end. They didn't really bully us, I wouldn't say. And uh, just uh, switched on at a set-piece that they, they managed to get their goal. But then thought we were just in the ascendancy trying to attack and attack. And they had the deep block of five at the back and just really squished the space and made it difficult for us. Well, was, the, was the criticism that came after that match of Sheffield United, was it, was it unfair? I mean... Um, the whole mentality thing, uh, Patrice Evra has called Arsenal babies. Yeah, I mean, what he says doesn't affect me personally. I know what I am and how I like to play. And he's got his opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And uh, just as a group of players, we knew that it was going to be a fight. And we made sure everyone knew that going out of the changing room at the end. I was saying, it's going to be a fight. Be ready for it. We know, we know how they're going to play. It's going to be second balls and playing off set pieces. And we just got to match that. Are you, are you frustrated at the... You've not played in the Premier League this season? Uh, no, not, not no, as yet, no. Is that a frustration to you? Oh Yeah, there's, there's, there's competition in this team, in this squad, the depth we've got in this squad, there's competition for places, and I can only work hard, and the chances I do get, so I perform and work my way back, still coming back from my injury to get 90 minutes, and I think a couple of 90 minutes and playing more regular, you sort of build myself back up to being ready for when I put into a Premier League team. Okay, last couple for Rob then. I'm sure you're aware of it, but you haven't lost a game for that season and a half now, have you? <laughs> well, I missed half of the season, so I didn't know that many All of last season, yeah. you didn't actually lose a game. Yeah, so we It's sort of frustrating when you're halfway in such a good run of form and you're not in the team. Right? Yeah, we would. Uh, well, that run of form sort of ended 
last November, didn't it? When when I well last December when I went down injured, but yeah, we, we I sort of came into the team at a good spell where we had uh, a string of good results. I think we were twenty two unbeaten, which was which was great, and that could have gone on for the foreseeable as we were playing, but stuff happens, and I got injured, and yeah, I'd love to pick that up and sort of carry it on. And in the cup games this year, we haven't lost yet, so that's a good good way to go forward. We've got this game tomorrow, and then we've got a tough game away at Anfield next Wednesday that I'm looking forward to, and hopefully we can keep on beating in them. Rob, before before the injury, you're in. I think it's fair to say you're in the form you like. Obviously, you're back in amongst it all now. Is is in, is England and international football something you, you look at, or is it something that you have to put to one side? Or? Yeah, I get asked this for a few times, and uh, I know I was close coming up to the, to my injury, and um, you see with the likes of Tamori getting in there and. And Ben Chilwell, I always bring up Ben Chilwell. I think he's done phenomenal as well to, to cement a place down at such a young age. And um, Trent Alexander Arnold are young English players who, if you're playing, you, you get you get looked at and you get put in there. So I think it's a matter of time until I get playing, and I'm sure Gareth Southgate will look at me and see what he wants to do. Has he been in touch at all? Because obviously he gave you your 21 caps as well, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw him, I think it was the national break before my injury. Uh, they were training at the at here. The, uh, for one of the sessions and just remember as I was walking out I walked past Steve Holland and just having a little chat and he was just saying yeah we were looking at you and just just keep going keep working hard and I'm sure it'll happen so we'll see what happens in the future. Okay that's what we've got. On that England thing, Herman Ernsteca has spoken about his disappointment and not seeing an Arsenal player in the England squad, do you feel a real pressure to, to represent Arsenal at that top international level? Uh, I wouldn't say I'd get any pressure from it, I'm just sort of keeping my head down doing my own thing and focusing on what I need to do which is play football for Arsenal at the moment and if that comes then it comes. Okay guys, thank you Rob. Thank you very much.